Today, we got a new battery from WattCycle. Let's open it up. M8 terminal bolts, user's manual, packing foam. All right, and there's the battery. I love their little character guy right here. Looks like some kind of 8-bit video game ghost. All right, so we've got a 12 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And check this out, guys, look. It has a 200 amp BMS. That's an awesome feature. All right, so it says we can maximum continuous discharge at 200 amps. Our standard and maximum continuous charging is 40 to 200 amps. You can run four in parallel and four in series. And our weight comes in at 45.2 pounds. All right, let's charge this guy up. All right, guys, so the battery is 100% charged. We can remove the charger now. And our shunt is already set up to do the discharge capacity test. So all we need to do is turn on the inverter here. There we go. Running the little heater as a load. And we're pulling about 1,000 watts and close to 80 amps, which is perfectly fine for a 200 amp hour battery with a 200 amp BMS. We're gonna let that run and I'll be back when it completes. Alright, so we're down to 1%. We've got 198.87 amp hours, 2,506 watt hours so far. I did actually turn the heater down just now because I saw the voltage sagging down to like 10.9 or something like that. Uh, I didn't want my inverter to shut off before the test was complete. I think we're about to hit it. There it is, 200 amp hours, 2,519 watt hours. All right guys, this battery pulls full capacity. Very nice. Let's go ahead and turn the heater back up to medium. See there, it's at 10 point, 10.8, 10.9. And this thing starts complaining at about 10.5. But you can see here, our voltage is actually still above 11 over here on the shunt. Yeah, let's put it back on low. There we go, we'll just let it continue on. All right guys, there we go, now it's complaining, so let's turn the inverter off. And our final result is 204.51 amp hours, 2,570 watt hours. Fantastic. All right, so holy smokes, that was hard to crack open, but it's broke loose. I haven't opened it yet, so here's the big reveal. Oh, 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 that's beefy. I'm liking what I'm seeing. What is this? So we got two four gauge silicone wires for the positive. Two four gauge silicone jacketed wires for the negative. And then this is our, supposed to be our beefy 200 amp BMS. It looks beefy. I think it just says Shanzing Washi Energy Co. LTD. The model is WT7100. It says 200 amp 4G721 for lithium iron phosphate. Looks like it, it allows the cells to charge up to 3.75 and discharge to 2.2. And I think I see a temperature probe right here. So we need to check to see if this has low temperature protection. There we go. Mm, there's the, sh the battery case, nothing special there. All right, there's the cells all out. So we've got this metal frame 
there's a metal strap part of the frame that goes around the top uh, looks like the BMS is on that with a piece of fish paper between the BMS and this metal bar and then the BMS has zip ties holding it on and then glue on the corners uh, that should be fine there is a fish paper between this metal bar and the cells that's good they've got a fiber board at the end here to protect the cells that is excellent uh, exactly the same setup on this other end there is uh, some isolation between the cells it looks like there's a maybe some fish paper or maybe a plastic sheet very good yeah I don't see any build quality issues right off the bat here um, bus bars are aluminum welded they do have the hump in it but not between not on everything so there, there is a little bit of lack of relief between the cells with this this little flexy kind of hump area and the cells themselves I see some QR codes here let's see if we can get a reading not getting a reading on my phone let me try my tablet I mean I got a clear picture of it right here but it's not scanning for some reason I'm not sure why I've got it says D290 up here it says O3 H C B zero one six zero 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 a u and then over here it says four oh oh seven oh eight i'll see if i can enter it manually it doesn't recognize it so if you guys uh, recognize these cells let me know um they look very nice but uh i don't know what they are all right so let's continue on looking at the build quality here uh, they've ran the BMS sense wires fairly well. They've got these little zip tie standoffs to make sure that they run between the cells and they're not on top of the bus bars. That's good. However, these were, they're restuck, but when I first opened it up, these were unstuck. Now, that's probably for me because I beat, I beat the heck out of this thing. I had to have this putty knife in there and I was just beating it with a hammer. Uh, so that's probably my fault as to why those would have been jarred loose you know as you can see the back of my putty knife see that's pretty smashed up uh, these are hard these lids are hard to get off so i can't fault them on that like i said i probably did that myself so yeah they've got these ran proper to where they do not come in contact with the bus bars so they're not going to rub and short out yeah the build quality is great all right well let's test and see if this has low temp protection yep there we go so the low temp charging protection does work and we warmed it back up and we're back to charging awesome all right guys so i think that's going to be it for the video let me know what you think of this battery it seems pretty darn good in my opinion but uh, as always like subscribe let me know your thoughts and i'll catch you on the next one